Job one, two, and three, is it pitching, starting pitching for you this offseason, and then other things that you have to fill in? But if you can only do a couple, would it be pitching? I mean, uh, we got to do more than a couple, but uh, we need multiple starters, uh, and you know, the highest level category you can possibly find, the better. Um, we do have vacancies out of the bullpen with, you know, currently the free agency of uh, Britton and Robertson. Obviously, those are important roles in the pen, whether those guys come back, whether it's importing somebody else. You know, but we need to tend to the pen. And then, uh, you know, obviously, how are we going to react to the Didi injury? Uh, we obviously can, you know, because when Glaber Torres over to, to shortstop his natural position and uh, and backfill at second base, or we can, you know, you know, look to import a shortstop and, and leave Glaber a second. So, you know, that's how this winter is going to take us. Uh, Priority-wise, it's hard to say. I think starting pitching is the, the highest level priority. Um, and then the, and the rest of it's just as important. But, but uh, even though I said just as important, the starting pitching is the most important. Did you believe that CC was your best option as a five, fifth starter? Or is there just something else about him that you wanted to lock him in for that one more year? I mean, we know the player. We know what he's capable of doing. We know, uh, uh, you know, I think he's been very productive for us uh, every step of the way. You know, he's not the same pitcher he was when we obviously first got him in here, but he's still someone that, that uh, you know, induces some of the weakest contact in Major League Baseball. Uh, and so that's that's a real positive attribute. And, and obviously, even though we know there's going to be times he's going to have to go down and get a blow because of the knee, um, that's a lot of value. Uh, and he provides meaningful innings uh, for a team that, that's obviously, you know, intended to be a contender. So um, whether he was the best best fifth starter or not, he was one we were certainly comfortable with, both on the field of competition and in that clubhouse. So uh, I thought there was good value for us, uh, and I thought that he was someone that would could have made more probably – uh, if he was willing to go elsewhere, but he was unwilling to do that because this is now his home for him and his family uh, as he's finishing off uh, what we all believe is a Hall of Fame type career. And and uh, so I thought it was great value uh, for the back of our rotation and someone that you know we know and that we trust and you know we've benefited from and we're going to count on him again next year. Brian Cashman, Yankee Senior VP and General Manager, joining us here on the Michael K show. You've been quoted and uh, been interviewed before where you said that there is um, close to a robust, a robust trade market for Sonny Gray. So when people continue to want to trade with you for Sonny Gray, Brian, does it give you pause? Well, maybe we could fix it here and he could be the pitcher that everybody thinks he's going to be, but he could be in pinstripes. Oh, you know, his, his time here is going to expire uh and you know a lot of people ask me like hey you seem to be talking about sunny gray a lot it's like i'm responding to the questions right. on a very direct person so i just want to clarify that to make sure people don't think i'm um, taking shots at sunny or kicking sunny i just i think i'm just being honest about circumstance and yeah i could keep waiting on after a year and a half of a different result but i don't think that's going to benefit us the odds are against it i think that he's a tremendous starting pitcher i think we targeted a hell of a talented player in person but when the dust settles, uh, it's not something that works here for whatever reason. And uh, so I've recognized that, and I'm going to make an adjustment because of that. And I think, you know, there's a lot of – there's a population of Major League Baseball teams clearly that re recognize his value, uh, that he will be the guy that he was in Oakland, not the guy he was here if they acquire him. And so we're going through that process, and at some point we'll, we'll land the plane uh, and put him in a better position to be – you know the best he can be because New York doesn't bring the best out of him. It's not a, it's not a, a knock on him. It's not a rap on him. This is a unique environment to try to compete in, and and uh, you know sometimes it brings out the best in people. Sometimes it doesn't. And uh, simple, he's extremely talented, very well liked in that clubhouse, and he's going to be on top of the game again. And just unfortunately, just won't be here in the pink.